everybody man y'all know that it's your boy on point on the ground and uh i did this video before but like you know once again i'm doing it over but uh basically i'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on what i think of hip-hop today rap music in general and all that other type of shit you know what i'm saying by the way the song you just heard was from nas it's all hip-hop is dead album that came out 2006 it's called hold on the block now that's the type of shit i listen to not this bullshit but anyway you know before i even go any further you know I want to really make this known and let everybody understand that uh, before anybody try to come out their mouth and say I'm being a hater or I'm not trying to support the newer generation and all that, I'm going to say it like this. I understand that times change and as the, the more, you know, the more generations that come in that becomes our future generations or whatever, I understand that times change and the newer generations that's going to keep coming up and rising, they're going to be drawn and attracted to certain type of stuff. They're not going to like the same stuff that the older people did. Just like how a lot of the guys that's in their 20s or late 20s or mid 30s don't really care for like the music like um that came out in the 70s and 60s from Al Green and Marvin Gaye and shit like that. You know, and you know, other stuff like that. Just like how you know the people that's in their 60s or 70s may say that music is not the same in general because they miss the old stuff from the 80s and the you know the 70s and the 60s, Marvin Gaye, Alvin Green, uh, pr uh, Rich, you know, all of them, they may say the same thing about us and say us younger generations that's in our 20s and mid-30s wouldn't even know what real music is. You know what I'm saying? But um, but at the same time, though, you know, when you really look at it, you know, I mean, like, like I said, you know, I understand. I, I totally understand about this stuff. But at the same time, oh, and, you know, even before I even get into that, I respect that these rappers is trying to fatten their pockets and take care of their families and benefit themselves. I respect that. I respect the fuck out of that. But at the same time, it doesn't mean I'm a fan of these niggas. At the same time, it doesn't mean I'm a fan of them. Soldier Boy, rappers like Soldier Boy, um, Young Berg, New Boys, Cold Flames, Cali Swag, Cali Swag District and all these other rappers that's coming out with these songs that are just retarded as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like Lil Wayne and all, you know, all these other people that, these people like Soldier Boy signing, some of Little B shit. At the same time, even though I respect their grime, it doesn't mean I like their music. Um, first of all, <laughs> I mean, first of all, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, I just feel like the music today doesn't serve any type of substance. It's not substantive, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's no concept of it. It's like niggas is just rapping just to be rapping, talking about bullshit. Where's the message? I miss music that had a message in it. Rappers like Nas, Jay-Z, The Game, uh, Loopy Fiesco, D-Block, Jay Kid Styles P, Common, rapper Scarface, uh, Ghetto Boys, so many other more. A lot of underground artists, you know, they, they, they have a message. They had a message, and, and some of these underground artists and some of these current artists that's still in the game, they have a message. These other cats is not, you know, but understand at the same time, I understand that this new music is really for the younger kids because the younger kids is not going to get into the type of music we like, to, the type of music we like. And I understand that, and I respect that, and you got to be fair about it because when you think about it, I mean, come on, the, the younger kids, these kids is like 14, these kids is like under 17 is the ones that's buying this shit. 
that's buying people like Soldier Boy shit, um, Little B shit, Little Wayne shit, and all them, Gucci Man shit, Rick. They're the ones that's buying. Well, they're the ones that's buying it. I don't know about the kids, Young Jeezy and Rick Ross. I think they may have a an older crowd that buys their music. But uh, by the way, man, now the younger kids is really was making these niggas rich, like Soldier Boy and all those other cats. They're the one that's, that's making them rich. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Um, I really don't care for it, man. I just get kind of aggravated. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bullshit. Every time I don't even watch MTV Jams and BET no more. Like for what? 106 and Park is whack. You know, I stopped watching that shit in 2006. The only times I did during 2007s is when I was really extremely bored. But that shit started getting garbage in 2006, 2005. That shit started getting garbage, man. Just you know. People on the, people that's putting up the countdowns, they're not knowing what real music is. And to me, man, people like Soulja Boy, Lil Wayne, all them, that's not real hip-hop to me. That's not real hip-hop. I'm sorry, man. That's not real hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne, he talented and he nice and all that stuff. I give him that. The nigga is nice and talented, but he doesn't do anything for me. He's just not talking about nothing that really serves a purpose for me. It's like the nigga just rap just to rap. The nigga have raw shit I like the dedication to. And I like the, the Drought 3, but other than that, nigga just raps the rap to me. Rick Ross, I never really cared for Rick Ross. Get your money. I, I really don't care for the nigga like that. You know, niggas like Lil B. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like Lil B. Lil B, the, the thing that killed me, Lil B could actually rap. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some tracks that he actually went hard on, like XXL Freshman of the year, Freshman 2010, when he went off of that beat, um, Hood Hot from Jaquan. The nigga killed it. That nigga could, he could really rap when he wants to, but he be coming out with this, this bullshit. You know, these dance re records like uh, Pretty Boy Swag Remix. Some of I could fuck any bro because I'm that freaking rich. I could put a mana on some shit. And niggas like, bitches on my dick because I look like Jesus. What kind of shit is bitches on my dick because I look like Jesus? I mean, it, the, the lines sound kind of hot, but goddamn, you know, and it, it's kind of disrespectful. And the nigga, he refers to himself as a pretty bitch in his rhymes. He, he calls himself a pretty bitch in his rhymes. You know, what, what the fuck's going on, yo? Like, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back then, man, in the early 2000s, man, you couldn't talk like that or even come into the game like that because you would not be taken seriously. You know, I noticed, like, the rap culture now, these dudes think it's okay to look kind of feminine. It's starting to get a little feminized a little bit. You know, don't get me wrong. I I, I like the rock star look and the punk rock clothing. I, I like that shit's hot. I, I wear it, as you can see. But, you know, um... You know, but I don't wear it, but the skinny jeans that's tight on niggas, like, you know, this rap music, it, it, not only is it getting, it's getting frustrating, but it's kind of, the, you know, the clothing trend that's coming with it is kind of like, you know, get the fuck out of here, yo. Like I said, the skinny jeans look good, good on the females, but not the niggas. The punk rock shit, the punk rock clothing, I like it, you know what I'm saying? But niggas, get jeans that's... That's gonna fit you. Get fitted jeans. That's gonna fit you. Don't get tight jeans that's tight in your ass like new boys. But like I said, man, this new rap music that's coming out now, I'm not liking the some of the the trends that's coming with it. It's also ruining things. Auto tune, you know, it, that that's getting frustrating. You know, so I'm tired of hearing auto tunes. Like be original, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna do auto tune. That's starting to get fucking annoying. The only rappers that sound good on auto tune is Drake, Kanye West, and Lil Wayne. And T-Pain. Other than that, just leave it alone, man. Just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone. I mean, every every rap song you hear, man, that the uh, chorus is, is something talking about money. I get money, 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 money. You know, come on, dog. Come on, man. Where's, where's the whole concept of the message in it? You know, niggas just talking about bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? The only dance rec that dance record, Stanky Leg, the booty. I, I can't stand none of that bullshit. Roscoe, although I don't like not Cold Flame, Cold Flame, I don't, I, you know, I said it grew on me, but I don't like Cold Flames, Miss Me, I don't like that, but I don't like it. The only dance record I like is Teach You How to Duggy from Cali Swag District. I ain't gonna lie, that's the only dance record I like. Other than that, I don't support none of this bullshit that's out here, man. If it ain't Tupac, Nas, Jada Kiss, Jay-Z, Biggie, Big Pun, Big L, Loopy Fiasco, Common, The Game, J-Rock. DJ Quick and other Cassidy Papoose and other rappers that I like, like Kanijo and uh Phrase, he's an Australian rapper. You know, rappers in Eminem, he's a you know, if it rappers that serve 
some type of concept and purpose in it. Because if it's not done, man, you know, shit. It gets no play on my ride. It gets no play on my computer. It gets no play on my iPod. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to understand. If I was a hater, I would say none of these niggas don't deserve to have this money. But see, that's the difference because a lot of niggas that like the real hip hop, they say these niggas is garbage and they can suck dick and get fucked and they don't deserve that money. But I'm saying, I'm not saying they don't deserve this money. I respect what they're doing, but I'm not a fan of these niggas. And that's just really what it is. Man, hip hop today is not the same. At the same time, I understand this shit. I understand. And it's all about the younger generation right now, apparently. So I understand why it is the way it is, but I don't like it. So you guys should have a clear understanding. Don't call me a hater. Because if that was the case, I would say I don't give a fuck and, you know, this and that. But I understand why it is. And I'm not saying that none of these cats deserve to not have that money. So, you know, that's what it is. That's my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think or not. Uh, well, I'm signing off. Peace.